Jo. I'm Eugene Chan and I would be talking about the first part of our poster regarding about the Eiffel Tower, which consists of the introduction, people involved in this building, where and where it was built, and the function of it in depth. The second part of the video will be conducted by my teammate Charlie, who will be talking about the significance, fun facts, and its conclusion. Whenever people mention Paris or France, the first thing they would think of is the iconic Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is a tall wrought iron structure made by men. It is one of the most famous monuments of the world and a famous landmark in Europe. The tower was built as a symbol of modern science and held the record as the tallest man-made structure of the world from 1889 to 1930, with its height of 324 meters. In French, it is called La Toué Eiffel, or also known as La Dame de Fer, which means the Iron Lady. So, who are the people involved? Stefan Suvastra is the architect of the Eiffel Tower, contrary to the popular belief that Gustav Eiffel. Gustav wasn't overly interested in the project and instead he sent his senior engineer. Maurice Koechlin and Emil to Stefan. In total, there are 500 people involved in this building. When and where was it built? With Stefan's edits, Eiffel got behind the plan and bought the right to the patent. It started construction at the Cham de Mars, Paris on 28 January 1887 and ended in 15 May 1889, which is 2 years, 2 months and 5 days. The Function of Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower was built for the 1889 Paris Exposition and was not intended to be permanent. It was to showcase their advancement in the construction industry. It has a 20 years permit to stand in Paris and was meant to be demolished in 1909, but was saved because it was repurposed as a giant radio antenna or a transmitter tower because it was found very valuable for communication which aided in communication jamming in World War I. Today, Eiffel Tower is one of the most known man-made structure in the world and has become an icon for France. The first level becomes an ice ring annually. It is now used as a tourist attraction with many facilities such as restaurants, sightseeing places and many more. Hi, I am Shalin Tan. This is part 2 of the Eiffel Tower. In March 1889, the Eiffel Tower was the main exhibit of the Paris Exposition. It was constructed to commemorate the centennial of the French Revolution. It was also to demonstrate France's industrial prowess to the world. In 1916, the first transatlantic telephone transmissions were released from the tower. The picture above shows the telegraph apparatus that was in the Eiffel Tower. Since the beginning of the 20th century, the tower has been used for radio transmission. Until the 1950s, an occasionally modified set of antenna wires ran from the summit to anchors. They were connected to long wave transmitters in small bunkers. In 1909, a permanent underground radio center was built near the South Pillars and still exists today. Since 1957, the tower has been used for transmission of FM radio and television. Fun facts. Parisian residents originally hated the tower, calling it an eyesore as it didn't fit into the feel of the city. It changes height by the season because it is made with wrought iron. When exposed to the hot summer sun, it grows up to 7 inches in height. The tower was originally intended for Barcelona, Spain, but the project was rejected. Hitler also wanted to tear it down, but the idea was fortunately thwarted. Originally, Eiffel Tower had a permit to stand for 20 years. The ownership would revert to the city of Paris, who had originally planned to tear it down. Part of the original contest rules was designing a tower that could be easily torn down. But as it later proved valuable for communication purposes, it was allowed to remain after the expiry of the permit. The military used it to dispatch Parisian taxis to the front line of the Marne, and it therefore became a victory statue of that battle. It was also used to catch the infamous Matahari, and after that, its demolition became unthinkable to the French population. Overall, the Eiffel Tower has 108 storeys with 1,710 steps. However, 
Visitors can only climb stairs to the first platform. It is the most visited paid monument in this world, attracting approximately 7 million visitors annually. 75% of these visitors are from other countries. There are about 4 restaurants and 3 souvenir shops on the Eiffel Tower overlooking the city of Paris. That's all about the Eiffel Tower. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.